Said to come straight home after school. Okay. Are you hungry, Froggy? Wow. <laughs> I guess so. Hop, hop, ribbit. Hop, ribbit. Hop, ribbit, hop. Come on, Max. Dad will wonder where we are. Hop, 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 hop. Did you know I'm going to be your classroom helper tomorrow, Max? I'll be there for show and tell. Show and tell? Yes. Don't you remember? It's your turn to bring something to school to show the class. I just love show and tell. You'll have to bring something that's really special to you, Max. Something you really, really like. <laughs> oh! I'll take Froggy. <laughs> I know you like Froggy, Max, but you can't take a frog to school. Why not? Well, because Froggy is an outdoor friend. He lives and eats and sleeps outdoors. He isn't an indoor friend and he can't go to preschool. Besides, you'll find something much better to take to school. I'll help you. Bye, Froggy. <laughs> Here we are, finally. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Max, how was school? It was great. Good. My teacher asked me to be a classroom helper in Max's preschool tomorrow. <gasps> That's wonderful, Ruby. You can tell me all about it once I'm done making dinner, okay? Okay. Now, we need to find you something really special to take to school. Why not Froggy? I told you, Max. Froggy is an outdoor friend. Wait, I know. I'll show you some things that I took to show and tell. That'll give you some ideas. The first thing I ever took to show and tell was Curly Shirley. She's very special to me. My teacher thought she was very well behaved. <laughs> what can you take that special, Max? Froggy! Besides Froggy. And you know you can't bring him to school, don't you, Max? Look, Max! My old ballet slippers! I took them to show and tell, too. I just love my ballet slippers! That was the best show and tell day ever! Ooh, I took my jewelry box to show and tell, too. Now that was the best show and tell day ever. Do you know why? No. Because Dad made it for me. That's why it's special to me. 
Isn't it beautiful, Max? Max? Oh, you're right, Max. Why are we looking in my room? We need to find something that's special to you. Now, Max, let's see. What could you take for show and tell? Um... I know! Tiny Tin Froggy! You don't play with Gator very much, Max. And wind-up toys are too loud and noisy for school. Your teacher won't like it if you bring them. But don't worry, we'll find something better for show and tell. Huh? My gorilla! What I mean, Max? Screaming alien, gorilla, and robot are too loud and noisy to take to preschool. But don't worry, we'll find something else. Whoa! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Max, what about this dinosaur book? You could take it for show and tell. No, not that. Why not? You love dinosaurs. Oh, but you like airplanes, too. Do you want to take your airplane book for show and tell? Nope. Okay, no books. Hmm, don't worry. We'll find something that's special to you. Like this. Your dragon shirt. What do you think? Nuh-uh, not that. But you love your dragon shirt. Don't you want to take it for show and tell? No, thanks. <sighs> okay, Max. But you need to pick something. Show and tell is tomorrow. We need to make sure it's something special to you. Like... Hmm. Um, maybe this. Oh, the castle that Grandma gave you. That would be perfect for show and tell. It's no Curly Shirley, but I'm glad you finally picked something. Yes, my castle box. Hooray! I'm so glad we found something. It is ready. See you later, Mom. Bye, Mom. Have a good day, sweethearts. Lily, thank you so much for sharing your new soccer ball with the class and for sharing your best soccer kick. You're welcome, Miss Bundy. You may sit down now. Max, would you like to go next and show us what you brought for show and tell? Yes, Miss Bunty. Oh, one moment, please, Max. I see our classroom helper is here. Hello, Ms. Bunty. Hello, class. Hi. Hello, Ruby. You're just in time, Ruby. Max is about to show us what he brought for show and tell. Go ahead, Max. What would you like to show us today? My castle box. Cool. Oh, my. It's lovely. Tell me, does it have a dragon in it? Does it? Does it? No, but it has a tin froggy. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> cool! A wind-up toy. Nice frog, Max. <laughs> he is so hoppity. It's the frog prince. I really like him. Oh, my. What a cute frog. 
You brought your frog toy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. He's a very well-traveled frog, isn't he? Tell us, Max, why did you decide to bring your toy for show and tell? Tim Froggy is special to me. Oh, I see. You even have a name for your toy. Well, we're delighted to meet Tim Froggy. Max wanted to bring a real frog to school, but he's an outdoor friend. Yes, you're right about that, Max. But Tin Froggy is welcome to stay and play for the day. Perhaps we can pretend he's a real frog and put him in our natural science display. Okay. I guess you did bring something that's special to you after all, Max. <laughs> yes, I really, really like my tiny Tin Froggy. The Whirly Gig! What is it? A Super Space Whirly Gig! Fun! Let's put it together! And fight! Up, up, up! Into space! Super space! <laughs> I think they'll need this to get it to super space. Oh, Max, you dropped a piece of your new spinning toy. Super space whirly gig! Are you going to fly it in the yard? No, we're going to fly it in the space. Ooh, like real astronauts. Oh, no! Our berries! Hey! Shoo! Shoo! Shoo, Crow, shoo! Shoo! What's wrong? That crow has been eating our berries. Soon there won't be any left and Dad wanted some for our pie tonight. What am I going to do? Super Space Whirly Gig! Sorry, Max. I can't help you put your toy together. That's okay. I need to find a way to keep birds out of our garden. I know. What we need is a scarecrow. A what? A scarecrow to scare away that pesky crow. Two crows. Would you two like to help me make the scarecrow? No, thanks. Wait for me, Max! Hmm. <laughs> I think I found everything I need to make the perfect scarecrow. This looks like a good spot. go, Scarecrow. Oh, that's looking good, Ruby. I'm glad you were able to use Max's old clothes. Me too. Thanks, Mom. I know you're going to do a good job keeping those two pesky crows away. Oh, now there are three crows. Where does this go? On top. Ready for Countdown, Commander Lily? Ready, Captain Max. Three, two, one. Blast off! Where did it go? Over there. Come on. Max, be 
careful. You're stepping on the plants. Oops, sorry. <sighs> it's okay. But come on out of the garden. You're going to need to find another spot to fly your toy, away from the berry bushes. Hmm, how about right here? Okay, sure. I've got to get back to the scarecrow to keep those crows out of the garden. Have fun. <laughs> Come on, Max. Let's try again. Hmm. There you go, Scarecrow. And some whiskers. Something is missing. I know. You need a hat. Okay, let's blast off. Three, two, What are you doing? Please be careful. You're brushing against the berries and they're falling onto the ground. Sorry. Here, Max. Try using a stick. Got it! It went far that time, Captain Max. But it didn't go up, up, up. I know you'll figure it out, Max. But you need to play with your toy somewhere else, okay? So it doesn't fly into the garden again. Okay, come on. <laughs> to the space station, Commander Lily. Come on, Captain Max, it's time to launch. Commander Lily, ready, Captain Max. Three, two, one. Blast off! Whoa. Huh? Uh oh. <sighs> I just finished making my scarecrow and now I'll have to fix him, Max. Sorry, Ruby. Ah, <sighs> it's okay. There. Now he's all set to scare away the birds. Now there's five crows. That's okay. They won't come near my scarecrow. I'd better get a basket to pick those berries for tonight. Let's leave the scarecrow alone to do his job. Ta-da! I think the UFO is upside down. Remember? We tried that. Hmm. <laughs> Not a bird in sight. Yay! The Scarecrow is working, Max! <gasps> shoo! Shoo! <gasps> 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 
I don't believe it. You aren't afraid of the Scarecrow? You like him? <laughs> the birds aren't scared of the Scarecrow. Soon they'll eat all of the berries. Now what am I going to do? Hmm, maybe this way. I think I fixed it! Ready, Commander Lily? Ready for blast off, Captain Max! Three, two, one! Super Space Whirligig! Blast off! Yeah! Look at that! Woohoo! Max, you scared the crows away. Yes! Woohoo! Yay for Captain Max! Super Space Whirl again! Hooray! I don't think they'll ever come back. <laughs> One very, very supreme for you, Monsieur. And one very, very supreme for you, mademoiselle. Thanks, Dad. No, thank you. Yes, Ruby. It's because of you and your scarecrow that we have berries for our pie. Actually, it's because of Max and his... Super Space Whirligig. <laughs> yes. <laughs>